Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is HUD, draw rect, and draw line. The draw rect and the draw line nodes give us the ability to draw rectangles or squares onto the HUD as well as lines. And we have a few different parameters, but let me go ahead and show you what I mean. We'll hit play. This square up here is my draw rect node. If I hook up my line, we hit play. This pink line is my line node. That's it. It's really simple. So let's go ahead and look at the inputs on them. Draw rect node is pretty simple. It's going to take in a target. Usually you're going to call it from the HUD itself since it needs to be part of the receive draw HUD when it runs. So don't have to worry about that. You have a color. Any color you want works perfectly fine. This is just a linear color input. Then you have four input values. And these are really simple. Where does it start? in 2D coordinate space, and how big is it in 2D coordinate space? So for example, if we want to start in the top left corner, it would be 0, 0, and we want it to be 100 by 100, we end up with this box here. Now one thing to note, let's move this over about 600, and let's make it a little bit taller and run this. The HUD is drawn underneath UMG widgets, so you need to keep that in mind at all times. So basically widgets on top, then the HUD, and then our viewport. So this is an example of a rec. Now you might be thinking, what would we use it for? It's useful and combined with other nodes where you use it as a background for maybe displaying information. You could put debug info in it. For example, let's say we put it in the top left corner. Let's make it 200 wide by 50, 100 tall. Now we have kind of, whoops, let's try that again. Let's actually hook it up this time. Now we have a little thing where we can actually put debug info. You know, we'd probably want to do something a little more appropriate. Maybe black with a partial alpha, maybe a five like that. We'll go ahead and run this. And now we have a little transparent display. We could put some text and things like that for a debug. Alternately, well not alternately, but as another thing, you could use it for maybe like imitating a cropped effect. Maybe when you're zooming in, giving sort of a cinematic feel really easy to do. The draw HUD has the X and the Y of the HUD. So for example, if we plug in the X right here to the width, that means it's going to be the width of our screen. And if our height, for example, let's say we want something like 75, we can go ahead and let's give ourselves a solid background again and hit play. Now we kind of get this little bit of cinematic effect on the top. And we could, of course, just simply grab the bottom and do the same thing. We could do two draw recs and have one on the top of the bottom. Really simple. Now our draw line node is going to be very similar. It's going to take in where it starts and where it ends. Rather than the height and the width, it's simply where it starts and where it ends. Two different points. We have the color and then the thickness. So let me show you the default line thickness of one. We'll go ahead and hit play, and there's my line, start to end. One thing you'll notice, basically when it draws the line, it's going to draw a square where it starts, go to the end, draw another square where it ends, and then connect the two points. So that's why it looks like it's, it's not a line that's sideways. It doesn't actually rotate it. It just starts with a square and then draws that all the way down and ends here. That's the way our line looks. That's why we get this little bit of a pointed diamond end. Obviously, if we had our same ending on the same Y, it's going to look like we expect it with a straight line. The line's useful because we could use it for pointing out things, maybe just drawing a simple debug box on the screen or anything like that. It's a line. You simply use it to draw a line on your HUD. And that's it. That is our draw rect and our draw line nodes. Remember, they take in a few values, such as the rect where it starts and the size. The line takes in where it starts and where it ends. You can set the colors. And then in the case of the line, you can set the thickness of the line. And they're useful for simply debugging and throwing things on the screen really quickly.